Hello and welcome to High Tech Middle Media Arts. In this video, we will explain the basics of our school and give you an in-depth tour. Let's start with the design principles. At all high tech schools, we operate based on five different principles of design. Each of these principles contribute to the foundation of our philosophy. Personalization, adult world connection, common intellectual mission, and teacher as designer. Personalization allows us to provide our students with unique projects custom tailored to them that allow a deeper level of learning. Adult world connections is the idea that even though students are not yet in the working world, we can prepare them for it. Students are given opportunities to be professional and they make real connections that will help them in their adult lives. Here at HTMMA, we believe that all students are created equal and deserve to learn as a whole group. Therefore, we do not separate students into different levels based on their abilities. Instead, we support an inclusive environment for all skill levels, and we individualize the projects for the students' abilities. Lastly, we consider teachers as designers, giving them the freedom to craft their own projects that are best suited for their students. We believe that the teachers know best how to teach their class, and we give them most of this responsibility. Now that you understand the design principles, the next thing you should probably know is what life is like for a student here. Each student is in one class that they travel with the entire school year. Two of these classes have the same teachers, just not at the same time. For example, while one half of the team is in math science, the other would be in humanities, and then they would switch. Each grade has two teams, and students from different teams often have different projects and homework, while students on the same team share projects and homework. Here at HTMMA, there are two core classes, humanities, which encompasses reading, writing, and history, and math science. A student will spend two hours in each of these classes. They also have an exploratory, which is a one-hour block of time that is devoted to drama, multimedia, or tech, and art. These three activities change every semester and year. For example, in the seventh grade, a student spends half the year going to art class and the other to drama, and then in eighth grade, they have art and multimedia. Lastly, we are advisory, x-block, and team time. These three activities only happen a few times a week for one hour. Advisory is made up of about 26 7th and 8th graders and is similar to homeroom in public schools. x-block is also composed of all three grades with about 20 students and is the one class students can choose. Many students use this time in place of PE because our school does not have a PE class. Choosing X-Blocks like soccer or running, but there are also non-physical X-Blocks such as knitting or yearbook. Team time is one hour where a team's two core teachers can decide what to do with this time. It's often used as extra project time or sometimes teachers take students out to the field to get physical activity. Our schools have many unique activities, many with their own acronyms. A POL is a presentation of learning, a 10 minute long speech that a student gives at midterm. This presentation explains two of the students' most recent projects. A TPOL is the same thing as a POL, except it is given at the end of the year and is a part of determining if the student passes that grade. A SLC is a student-led conference, similar to a parent-teacher conference, except the student plans and leads the conversation. Exhibition is a showcase of students' projects in early June each year. Parents and family come to the school to see what their students have been learning. Intercession is the two-week class where groups of around 20 students from all three grades spend their entire time with one teacher, doing one project. Groups often go on trips, such as to Costa Rica and China, but just as frequently they stay at school and do things such as creating a dance piece or an animation. Our school in and of itself has a unique architecture. It is located on the second story with the elementary school below us and the high school above us. It is in a capital T shape and you enter the building about halfway down the vertical part of the T. Walking in the door, you enter the main commons. This is where students hang out before and after school. And this space is used as the drama classroom and is where commu community meetings take place. Here you can turn right further into the vertical part of the T or left towards the horizontal part of the T. If you turned left, you would pass the front desk and enter the horizontal part of the T. Here you are faced with another decision. If you turn left, you pass by the bathrooms and enter the 7th grade common space. Every grade commons has the same basic design. There is one communal space with one math science and one humanities class branching off on each side. Students on the same team have both classes on their sides of the commons. Now if you had turned right at your last destination, you would have passed the multimedia and art classrooms and entered the 8th grade commons. Now walking back to the main commons and back to the vertical part of the T, you pass the, the director's office and enter the 6th grade commons. So now that you know your way around the school, enjoy seeing it for yourself. 
and we hope you have a pleasant day.